Have you ever wondered what modern day slavery would look like? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's rephrase that a little bit. Don't you think that was too hard? Okay, okay, okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. Have you ever wondered what it would be like for a poor person to work with a rich person? Well, today we're gonna find out. We're gonna be watching Rich Girl Shane, Black Maid Girl, from Mini 4. My reflection on that floor when you're done with it. Whoa. Why are you so mean to me? Whoa, what you, what? There's two kinds of people in this world. People who look like you and live on food stamps and welfare. Yo, what the difference between you and her? You bleed the same blood. What are you talking about? Deserve to be treated like the criminals you are. Criminal? Yo. <laughs> criminals? Criminals? She's scrubbing your floor and she's a criminal? Where is this girl's parents, bro? Where are these girls' parents? You look like me, who were born rich and beautiful and deserve to be treated like royalty. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Ain't nothing beautiful about you. I'm sorry. For you. <laughs> Bro, if you don't get up and smack the living daylights out her, bro. Please stop. Did you just tell me what to do? No, I'm just asking you. Please stop. That Girl. sounds like you're telling me what to do. Girl. So now I'm going to have to teach you a lesson on what Girl. happens to dumb slaves when they disobey their master. Yo, whoa, what? <laughs> Girl, if you don't get up and hit her with a, a Mack truck deluxe, wet, like what is happening? When they were picking up cotton. No! Like they were picking up cotton is. Ooh. Hey Marcus, how are you feeling? <coughs> the pain's getting worse. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcus. I'm what? We Not even a minute into this video, I'm already irritated. So high. We can't afford the cancer treatment you need. Don't cry. I know how hard he worked to put food on the table and pay the bills. You're the only family I have <laughs> left, Marcus. And I can't lose I don't, my own. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not funny. I stop it's funny. It's almost Christmas time. Stop funny. And these folks always give me a huge bonus every year for working really hard. So we could just use that money to pay for your cancer treatment. No, you need that money for a car, Lydia. You've been walking to work every day. Marcus, I don't mind walking to work. She walked the work, bro. She people. walked. She. You're my family. You are more important than a car. This is why you're the best sister in the world. You and all the hard work you've been doing. Anything but my Marcus. Now, you get some rest. Bro, don't even look sick. He's just bald. Did they just find a bald black man and, and decided you're going to be the cancer patient? Okay, Gwen, I'm going out to run some errands. I won't be back till late tonight. Lydia will be here in about an hour to clean up the house as usual, so let her in, and here you go. What's this? Her usual paycheck. Okay, Mom, I'll make sure to get that to her. After all, she's such a hard worker, and she deserves every penny. Oh, you're such a sweet girl, Gwen. Bye, baby. So if her parents didn't teach her how to be racist, where did she get this oh, attitude Gwen, from? Oh, Gwen, I almost forgot. This is Lydia's Christmas bonus. Make sure she gets it. I always like to make sure we're blessing people, especially around the holidays. Don't worry, Mom. You can count on me. Yo, W Moms, though. I ain't gonna lie. W Moms? W Moms. Like, yeah. Yeah. Bonus paycheck? You know what I'm saying? It's Christmas time. Okay. Okay. Yo. You can count on me to give her what she deserves. You're late, you dirty slave. Now get to work. The floor's filthy. Yo, see, look, if that was me in your position, I would have went in there, hit her with a WAPO combo. Like, girl, who are you talking to? Uh, sorry, Guinevere. Uh, where's your mother? She had to leave to run some errands. And she left me in charge. That means you have to do what I say when I say it. Uh, of course. I'll get to work right away. This is the, this is the beginning part. So to me? Right. Right. Because all she's trying to do is help her brother. Pip who at all, bro? Like... You. Like, it doesn't even matter if you're white, black, Mexican, Chinese, Asian. Looks like, treating somebody fun. poorly based off the color of their skin, bro, is absolutely yeah, unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Just like you. Did you just tell me what to do? No, I'm just asking you to please stop. Just stop. She's, not, she's not even from the motherlands, like bro. Me what to do. She's from so the now United I'm States. Teach you a lesson on what happens to dumb slaves when they disobey their masters. <laughs> Yo! Look at you. Your back's all wet, just like your ancestors when they were picking up cotton. <laughs> now I hope this teaches you a lesson when who's in charge. Oh, I wish she was in front of me saying that. I, ooh. Matter of fact, 
fact, I'm about to call up all the little, you know what I'm saying, the little yeah, yes, the little, the, yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, we gonna see who back is wet now. We gonna see who back is wet now. You know what I'm saying? Cause no, it's unacceptable. I'm making a couple phone calls. Cause no, I gonna, you're not gonna talk to my people like this. You know what I'm saying? No, no. No, I'm feeling kind of hungry, so go make me some food. Got that? Bro, she gotta clean, bro. She gotta yes. clean the Cheetos you yes, just dumped what? on the floor, and now you gonna tell her to make you food, bro? Yes, yes. Yo. Now that's more. Like nah. That. Now I'm gonna be in my room, so don't bother me until the food's ready. You gonna let a little girl talk to you like this, bro? Yes, master? Yeah. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Lydia. Is everything okay? Just was calling to see how you were doing. Everything is fine. I'm doing great. Are you sure you're okay? Bro, y'all siblings. He could, like he could, fine. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was about to say. I'm, I'm pretty sure he could tell you a little sad. Allergies. You know, when I'm cleaning the place, Dust gets all in the air and it just caused my eyes to tear up. Hello? Where is my food? Bro. Hurry up, I'm hungry. I'm so sorry, Marcus. I can't go. Things are so busy around here. Okay. I'll, I'll see you when you get home. <clears throat> Love you. Bye. Now, Lydia. Girl, if you don't get up, if you don't put yourself together, girl. And now she gonna mess with your bread. Cause I promise you, she ripped that paycheck in front book? of your face. It's been 30 in front of your already. face. Now she playing with your bread. I'm sorry. I was trying to make it the best dish that I can, but it's ready now. You see, I made you tacos. You made me tacos. Yes. Who in the world likes tacos? Oh my god. This food is for peasants and slaves like you. Not the what tacos! Are Why are you wasting like food? Your stupid peasant food. Did you really think I was gonna eat something as disgusting as that? But you're not disgusting. You didn't even try yeah. them. That's I don't need to try them. Now, since you failed at doing your job correctly, I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Bro. You see these two envelopes? One of them has your pay. Ooh. And Ooh. the other one's your Christmas bonus. Oh, if, your your if she rips I'm your bread, if she rips your bread, keep it to teach you a lesson. Plus, people like you don't deserve bonuses. No, please, I need that money. She better not do what you I think she about to do. Cause cancer. now you see, now you messing with my cheese. You messing with my bread. You feel me? Now, now you messing with how I'm making my money. Cause what's Does going on? Does it look like I care about your stupid what you, sick what brother? What you trying to get into? I'm glad he has cancer, and I hope he dies. That way, there's less cockroaches like y'all in this world. Please don't say things like that. Me, Girl, if, person I have left if you don't before. get it together and I let her you know you don't talk to our people like that, bro. And that is final. Plus, I need the money to buy a new Gucci purse. <laughs> no, please, please don't do this. I need that money, otherwise my brother will die. Please. What are you doing? Let go of me, you scum. What is going on here? Nothing yeah, wrong. yeah, I yeah, mean, mom. Just yeah, don't be wrong. Yes, Mrs. Brooks. I was cleaning it. Don't be lying for the girl. Don't be lying for the girl now. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're not doing that. That's not what we're not doing. I was just doing what you taught me to always help people. No, bruh. But mom, why are you back? I thought you weren't going to be back until later tonight. I was. But you see, yesterday I had security cameras installed in this house to keep us better protected. And look what I found. No, get to work, you dirty slave. Mom, explain. No, explain what? Explain what? an explanation. This video doesn't no. lie. Mm -hmm. How could you mm -hmm. treat Lydia so badly? Mm. She is a hardworking person right. that has never given us anything less than her best. Right. Lydia, I am so sorry for how my daughter has treated you. You didn't deserve any of it. That's okay, Mrs. Brooks. No, it's I not. I ain't lie, bro. No one should ever be treated it's this acting way. acting kind of cringe. But they still like piss what? me off. There's enough emotion. I I'm still mad. I'm surprising you with a brand new car for Christmas. But after <laughs> what I've seen, you, you don't no deserve car. it. So I'm giving it to Lydia. Yeah. What? I mean, you know, I say brand new SRT on swearing. I can do whatever I want. Brand new SRT on No one deserves a car more than you. You are so hardworking, and it's the least I can do after everything my daughter has done. Right. Reparations. Reparations. How much this means to me. Especially because she ain't even do nothing besides make you food and clean your house. But now you ain't get your car. Moral of the story, we're all humans, we all bleed the same blood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that actor was mad cringe. I ain't gonna lie, but that actor was mad cringe. But they were pretty much, they were pretty much like painting a lesson. Uh, just kind of like letting it be known, bro. Like, don't treat people poorly because just because of the color of your skin. Like, at the end of the day, we still believe the same, but we still living on the earth. We should be helping each other, not tearing each other down. But if you stayed all the way to the end and watched this video, appreciate you so much. If, you, you know, if you're here, if you're here, get your ass checked. Do it one more time. I ain't fucking with these people.